we are asked to simplify the given square root expression. I included the order of operations below because the first step in the order of operations is to perform all operations within grouping symbols or parentheses and whenever we have a radical, or in this case a square root, we treat the square root as if it is grouping the expression under the square root which is called the radicand. So let's include parentheses here to make this more clear that the first step is to simplify this fraction. And there are a couple of ways you can go about simplifying this fraction. We will show both ways. One way would be to find the product in the numerator first, six times 12 equals 72, which means this is equal to the square root of 72 halves. From here, because a fraction bar means division, and 72 divided by two is equal to 36, this simplifies to the square root of 36. 36 is equal to six times six or six squared. This is equal to the square root of six squared. The square root undoes the squaring. This simplifies to one factor of six. The square root of 36 is equal to six because six times six or six squared equals 36. Let's look at this again and show a second method for simplifying the fraction inside the parentheses. Notice six and two share a common factor of two. To show this, let's write six as two times three. So the given square root is equal to the square root. And then in the numerator we would have two times three times 12. In the denominator we have two. In this form, two divided by two simplifies to one. Simplifying, notice now we just have three times 12, which is 36 over one, which is just 36. This once again simplifies to the square root of 36, which is equal to the square root of six squared, which is equal to one factor of six. Let's look at one more example. Again, the first step is to simplify the fraction under the square root. However, for this example, I really don't want to find 15 times 48 and then divide by five. Notice the 15 and five share a common factor of five. Let's simplify this by simplifying out the common factor of five between the numerator and denominator. To show the common factor of five, let's write 15 as five times three. So the given square root is equal to the square root of the fraction where the numerator is five times three times 48 and the denominator is five. In this form, five divided by five simplifies to one. Notice now we're left with three times 48 over one, and three times 48 is 144. This simplifies to the square root of 144. 144 is equal to 12 times 12, or 12 squared. This is equal to the square root of 12 squared. The square root undoes the squaring. This simplifies to one factor of 12. The square root of 144 is equal to 12, because 12 times 12, or 12 squared, equals 144. I hope you found this helpful.